Hey there guys, Lord Fidget here, and today I am going to be bringing you an Archer gameplay video in the More Drains Fall Platinum event. Uh, as you may know, they did change the power requirement to 6750, but apparently they didn't implement it. So that's how I got in here. Uh, I'm still very undergeared, uh, Fiery Harbinger gear, and I did, though, end up getting the Chaos Artifact set from the last event. I transferred in the War Banner from my wizard. And then I s transferred also the Mythic Charms. I am using a Spiked Ring and a Hail Frost Charm to give me some mana for basic, because very few gear you find nowadays actually has that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, activating some quick buff skills before I go in. And basically, what you're going to end up seeing here is that this event is very, very friendly to ranged classes. There are very few enemies that have ranged attacks. They are the um, Royal Defender Wizards, Mordrain, and the Skeletal Knight Archers. The Skeletal Knight Archers, there are literally only six of them, <laughs> so they're pretty easy to deal with. Uh, the Royal Defender Wizard will only attack with Mega Fireballs, and those are easy to see and avoid. And Mordrain himself will do range attacks primarily with this Blade Wave move that comes from the ground, but there you saw it. And that is annoying, but it's easy to see coming and it's very easy to just run out of the way. Sometimes it'll just randomly hit you even if you moved out of the way in time or some sort of ser server latency thing of bigger. But most of the time it's pretty easy to avoid. In fact, I actually have my um, audio, in-game audio on. And <laughs> whoops, thought that was going to hit the decoy. My bad. Uh, I have my in-game audio on so I can hear when Mordrain is about to launch his blade wave. <laughs> Uh, the mana per basic I have from Charms and I think the Glove on my Fire Harbinger set gives me about 13, 12, 13, I don't even remember what it is. But it's more than 10 mana per basic, so I actually get a decent return on using Poison Arrow. Uh, instead of, I don't just break even, I get more mana than I use. <laughs> But the problem is, I'm not constantly shooting. There are a lot of instances where I will have to cast multiple decoys or multiple reapply sniper and pierce multiple times before I actually start shooting for a decent amount of time. Ah, did not think that blade wave was going to hit me. It didn't even look close, but oh well. But yeah, um. Where was I? Right, sometimes I'll need to deactivate Poison Arrow and just shoot to get my mana back. Alright, so that was phase one. Let's get on to phase two. This is probably going to be the most difficult of the phases, just because the Skeletal Knight Archer enemies can shoot you from afar. They're pretty much the only threatening ranged enemy in this event for an archer. Like right there, look at that. Two shots. Two shots took me down so far. But it's alright, they're pretty easily burned down and they can be feared with Firestorm, so I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. Uh, I am using some food. I think... well, usually I don't. It's it's really a preference thing. Um, I prefer not to use food. It's fine if you do use food. There's nothing wrong with that. I would consider it very resourceful of you. But I just prefer not to. I don't like having to stop every five seconds on my map runs to have to pick up a turkey leg or whatever you have going on for you there. So that's, I don't know, that's just my personal preference. So I am using food. No potions though. And what you just saw there, where I kind of just stood around and attacked him while he was invincible, he is immune to damage. However, 
you still get your on ba hit effects for your basic attacks. So I still regenerated mana and I still got my health back from my mana per basic and health per basic even though he was immune to the actual damage of my shot. So that's nice, you can just kinda when it's just him on the map you can shoot at him while he's invincible so you won't have to deal with any of the skeletal knights it'll just be you and him and you'll be regenerating your your uh, health and mana bars so that's always nice uh oh triggered these archers a little earlier than I wanted to still a few knights roaming uh, a few melee knights roaming around but it's okay this should work out I think I actually got the melee knights down now so See how this goes. Um, just kind of kiting around a bit. I wish I didn't have to, but the state of undergearedness of my archer is such that I need to do things like spam decoy and kite around a lot. It's fine. It's. I'm hoping to um, to get him regeared in the uh, next event, the item set event. I don't know if it's going to be artifact or relic gear, but I figure by then they'll have finally implemented the true mythic uh, power requirement, so I won't be able to do this again. And I don't know if I'll be able to. This, class, this event, like I mentioned, is very ranged class friendly. The next one might not be so ranged class friendly. As you can see, I'm just kind of running around and absolutely nothing is hitting me, so... Mm. Interesting. So now we've gotten to the point where Mordrain will start using his Swords from the Sky aerial attack. And that adds a little bit of difficulty, but not too much. It's not that hard to get out of so what I am a little worried about though is dealing with the one where he summons multiple blades from the ceiling in rapid succession I don't have a whole lot of experience dealing with that because usually when I play events at the platinum difficulty I am on my wizard and I kill him before he has a chance to start doing that but here is definitely concern. Definitely concern. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Sort of cast this decoy, get the suicide ghouls off me. Okay, so looks like there will be safe spots that I can run to for the most part. Um, I need to turn off poison arrow at some point. Here, just get my mana back. Here's another sword. Blade wave probably soon. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. And here, honestly, I'm using the decoy more to distract the ghouls than to distract Mordrain himself. Because I don't really need to distract Mordrain. He's just so slow that ooh, this is going to be tricky. Made it! Woohoo! Between two blades and a fireball! Sweet. Okay. So yeah, Mortrain doesn't really move that fast, so I don't really need to decoy to distract him. It's mostly just the uh, suicide goals. And speaking of whom... Alright, see if I can make some progress here. Get this wizard defender down. I can find to find find him here. Get him in my line of sight so I can start launching those basic attacks. Maybe, please. <laughs> uh oh. Start from the sky. Oh gosh, no. Oh. Alright, there we go. So what I did there is I saw the that there were swords coming below and above me. 
Uh, initially, I went above to avoid the swords from below, but then the swords from above started falling down, so I actually switched course. I went to the location where the swords from below were going to appear, knowing that by the time I reached that space, the swords would have already fallen, and I would be that that would just be a safe zone for me. So that was my thought process there. I almost got this wizard down, thankfully. Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Love that corner. Okay, so as long as I avoid these blade waves, he'll be dead very, very soon. Uh, no suicide goals in play right now. So it should be relatively safe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's one. Hello. And almost done here. Ah, getting swarmed. Stop. Stop. So close. Ah, oh, there we go. And that was the run. I hope it was helpful for you guys, or enjoyable to watch at least, and I will catch you next time. See you later.